let's just get into the Cowboys, man. I think we have a great chance to be a really good team this year. Obviously, we got C.D. Lamb back. Um, you know, we're going to miss my guy, Sam Williams. But, you know, I think, you know, adding Carl Lawson, adding Linville Joseph, adding um, Phillips. I mean, those are great roster additions to us as deaf, as some veteran leadership. So we got some young leadership mixed with veteran leadership. And hopefully we can all, uh, you know, come together and do this thing the right way and win a championship because that's what it's all about. Nothing matters more than a championship, not playoffs, not how far you win in playoffs, but obviously holding that trophy up and, you know, stopping Mahomes as a three P. I think that needs to be, you know, it's done right there. I mean, obviously Mahomes is the greatest ever, but, you know, three P is, you know, putting something in a legendary status, but I think the NFC's time we gotta take the throne back. I think the AFC's been, you know, you know, dominated in the last couple of years, obviously. But the Rams uh snuck one, but we need to get back to winning in the NFC for sure. And it needs to start with the Cowboys. I think our streak needs to be noted and our streak needs to, you know, come alive and get one this year. And I think and I know that we have the team to do it. So don't give up on this Cowboy Nation. It's going to be a great year. Mike Zimmer's here. He's going to be a great addition to this defense. He's so creative. He's like, I mean, he's one of the smartest guys I've ever been around. And not even just about uh, just just like, man, we meet every morning and this guy is just so articulate how he wants things done. He's seen it before. He knows what great defenses look like. He trusts the process. He trusts the scheme. He understands formation, recognition, his anticipation of when he wants to play calls and when he thinks. I mean, this guy is, I mean, he's one of the extraordinary mindsets and I'm glad I, you know, I got this year to be with him. I hope he's here next year. I mean, but this guy, I think he can take us to an all time high. I think we have a chance to be a triple crown defense. Um, especially with some of the guys we have in our room and on this team. I mean, this could be a really special year and I can't wait for you guys to witness this. And obviously getting my dog back 7 11. There's going to be a surprise later on coming into this. Uh, Trayvon Diggs will be with me a couple times this year and obviously having back on the team and the podcast, my brother, that's going to be great. And I can't wait for you guys to witness his greatness and his strides of him coming back. I mean, you know, all of us come back and I understand the Deron Bland situation. And obviously no one's more hurt than me. You know, Deron Bland's on legendary status. And I think he's going to be another all pro pro bowl caliber talent once he returns. But you know, we have to keep going. We have to grow. And then when he comes back, he's going to be just as dominant for us. So obviously I cannot, just imagine, we're only a few weeks away from the first game of the season, and the Cowboys have just made a move that's got everyone buzzing. While many thought he might land elsewhere, who would have guessed that Dalvin Cook, one of the NFL's most explosive running backs, is now ours? That's right, folks! Dalvin Cook has signed with the Cowboys, and this changes everything for Week 1. Interestingly, our first opponent of the season is the Cleveland Browns, a team that many speculated would be Cook's destination. But with this twist, what should we expect from this matchup? The Browns decided to keep only two running backs on their main roster, with both Nick Chubb and Naheem Hines sidelined at the start of the season due to injury. That leaves Jerome Ford and Pierre Strong Jr., while Dante Foreman was cut, creating some gaps in Cleveland's backfield. But did the Browns even consider signing Cook? It's an interesting question, especially when you remember that he had a rather disappointing 2023 season. He managed only 214 yards on 67 carries for the New York Jets before being released and signing with the Baltimore Ravens, where he barely made an appearance in the playoffs. Even so, at 29 years old and with four Pro Bowl selections, Cook still has the potential to be a surprising addition, especially for a team that needs more offensive firepower. But it seems like the Browns chose a different path, trusting the talent already on their roster. Will that confidence hold up as the season progresses? So. Cowboys Nation, what do you think about this addition to our team? Could Dalvin Cook be the missing piece that makes our offense shine even brighter and takes us far this season? Or do you think this was a risky move? Share your thoughts in the comments below, spread the word on social media, and of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any details about the 2024 season. The excitement is just beginning, and you won't want to miss a thing. See you next time.